Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about how to use a compound microscope. Microscopes can be really fun to look through, and it opens up a whole new world. Let's take a look at a couple things you can look at with a compound microscope. Let's go through the parts before I go through and give you some tips on focusing. First, you have the eyepiece, and the eyepiece is what you look through. Next, the tube connects the eyepiece to the lenses. The arm supports the microscope, and you should carry the microscope using the arm. The base is the bottom of the microscope, and it's used for support. Next, we have the light source, and it lightens uh, light for the slide so that you can see something. The stage is the flat area where you place the slide. Many times it has clips. Sometimes you use the clips, sometimes you don't. Next you have a nose piece. Usually it, not usually, it turns around. It's revolving and it holds two or three or maybe four objective lenses. The objective lenses is allows you to look at things at different magnifications. Usually you have a small, medium, and high. Next you have a diaphragm or iris and a lot of times people don't take advantage of this and it controls the amount of light that goes into the microscope. Okay there are your basics. Next up let's talk about how we actually focus and use the microscope. Okay, now that we've talked about the parts, let's talk about focusing. I have a slide here and I have a leaf on there. We're looking at plant and animal cells this week. And first thing, what you need to do is go ahead and place the slide on the stage. And uh, before you put your clips on, clips in, look and make sure that it is in focus. But I've left off one mistake. First thing you need to do is turn on the power. I've had many students say, can't see anything and I'll go over and say, why don't we try this. Next, kind of uh, put the slide where you can see that the light is shining on it and that it's going to be in the eyepiece and then go ahead and put the clips on. Sometimes if you're looking at pine water or protus, pond water, not pine water, pond water, you'll need to literally move it around until you uh, to kind of chase the protus and looking for stuff. So once you uh, have it here, let's put the clips on. And then I always teach my students to start on the um, lowest magnification, which on this particular microscope is in red. And so start with the low magnification. And then next thing you need to do is start with the focus, oh, excuse me, with the course adjustment. And you can see how far the stage moves when you move the course adjustment. So go ahead and get it to where it's close. Okay, it's close. And then when it's almost in focus, then you can use the find to get it just right. Then a lot of times uh, students think they're finished there, but you can actually adjust the light here will make a difference. And even more importantly, the diaphragm here adjusts the light even better and it makes a big difference. And if you look right here, you can see how the light is adjusted from bright to low and that can really make a difference. Sometimes you need a lot of light, other times you need low light. And then once you get it in focus on the low magnification, you then can move it to medium and you may have to readjust your fine just a little bit and then you can move to high power. Now when you move to high power, if you'll notice that the objective lens gets really, really close. So um, anyway, it will get really close. Just be careful if you use the, the 
forced adjustment not to uh, crush the slide there. Okay, so as a recap, uh, you want to get this plan in focus. You're going to place it on the stage. You're going to put the clips on if you need to. You're going to start on low power. Start with course adjustment until it gets close. Then you can use fine. Adjust the light here a little bit. Use the diaphragm to adjust the light even more. And then you can move to medium magnification and high magnification. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Remove Math uploads a new math and science video.